Minora betrays thee, servant of hiding. of Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, and Leviathan. I am Ramu, guardian of the children of the forest. Thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? The Gridanians proffer peace? Their words are born of delusion, thine offer, an insult. Thou speakest of harmony, yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath these boughs in solitude. Yet even that was too much to ask of man. Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Redanian or Gallian, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the breast of man. Whence sprung this calamitous seed? In the beginning no such duality existed. Were light and dark given form when man was born? It would explain much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy wake. Thou canst not deny the urgings of thine own nature. Knowing that thy mere presence here portendeth tragedy, wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed upon my wayward charges. But they should entrust so precious a gift to thee. Thou standest apart from thy kin. Thou art the bringer of light, I. But there is something more in thee. Very well. I shall consider thy proposal. Shouldst thou survive my trial? If thou wouldst champion the cause of harmony, I must have proof that thou art fit to play the role. Worthy mine ire, and prove to me thereby that thou hast strength enough to stay the darkness which threateneth to consume thee. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, Know that all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. Come to me, bringer of light. I shall await thee on the field of battle. Urianje, it is rare indeed to find you so far from a tome. The Lord of Levin himself. Never till this day had I looked upon his visage, save in painted renderings made faint by time. Ever shall this scene remain etched in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Beg pardon, my lady. I must beg thine aid on a point of research. If thou art resolved to face Lord Ramu, 
I would ask thy leave to observe the event. <laughs> 